the sea is rough and stormy, but these sailors from Portugal won't turn back. They are on their way to India to buy spices and then sell them in Europe, which will make them rich. They want to travel by sea because the journey is safer. The land route is an old route but very dangerous due to wars in the Arab lands. Finally, India at last. The Portuguese, led by their captain, Vasco da Gama, land in Calicut, India, in 1498. The first thing Vasco da Gama did on landing in Calicut was to meet the local ruler, or Zamorin. Let's listen to what they said. What is the reason for your visit? Your Highness, I have come from Portugal and wish to buy your famous Malabar spices. I request permission to trade here. What will we gain in return? I will give you a lot of money for your spices and once I sell them, Malabar spices will become world famous. Very well, permission granted. All that you saw took place many years ago. Would you like to know what happened after that? After that, the Portuguese became the first Europeans to carry Indian spices abroad and sell them. The Portuguese made a lot of money and their country became rich. Soon, other Europeans like the Dutch in Holland, Danes in Denmark, and the French in France heard of this and they too landed in India to trade in spices. Meanwhile in England, some traders formed a company called the East India Company. In 1600, their queen gave them the charter of trade to trade with India and Asia. After getting the charter to trade, ships of the East India Company landed in India to trade in spices, cotton and sugar. When the East India Company first came to India, the ruler was Jahangir, the Mughal Emperor. Soon the British asked him for permission to start trading. The Emperor allowed the British to set up a factory in Surat. This factory was actually a warehouse where they could store goods. The other European traders were angry. They did not want to share space with the British. It led to fights and wars amongst them for a long time. The Danish, Dutch and the Portuguese lost to the British. They were left with just a few settlements in India. The French were the most powerful rivals. They fought three bitter wars, called the Carnatic Wars, with the British that lasted from 1746 to 1763. At the end of these wars, France was left with two trading posts, Pondicherry and Chandanagar, and the British became the main trading nation in India. In this lesson, you learned the Portuguese led by Vasco da Gama were the first to land on Indian west coast at Calicut in 1498. The Portuguese gained permission from local ruler Zamorin to trade in Malabar spices. Other foreign sailors such as the Dutch, the Danish, the French also came to India to trade in spices. In 1600, the Queen of England gave the East India Company the character to trade with India and Asia.